Hello friends, my name is Nisha and welcome to my channel. In this channel, I upload videos on civil engineering topics uh, which I hope will help the students who are preparing for various competitive exams. So if you are preparing for any of the competitive exams in civil engineering, please do subscribe to my channel and keep watching. And in today's video, I will discuss a topic from hydrology. Uh, the topic is return period and probability of rainfall. So this um, many exams they'll have a question or two from this topic and it is a concept if you are clear with the concept it's very easy to understand and answer so please don't miss and keep watching till the end uh, first we will see some basic definitions uh, the basic definitions first what we have to understand is now a rainfall is often defined as a in centimeters or millimeters right like a uh, 10 centimeter of rainfall or 100 mm of rainfall this is how we define a rainfall and the return period is suppose we have a this year we had a, a rainfall of 50 centimeter okay and next year we had uh, 10 20 centimeter 30 centimeter and so on and after 10 years we again received a 50 centimeter rainfall okay so this 10 years is the return period the same 50 centimeter rainfall returned after 10 years so the return period of the rainfall is the uh, successive year in um, time interval between the occurrence of the rainfall is known as return period okay so it can be if uh, uh, suppose this year we received 50 centimeter rainfall and after 10 years we received 60 centimeter rainfall then again the return period is 5, uh, 10 years because 60 years when a year we received 60 years that means it has initially received 50 centimeter and then again keep on raining and we received 60 centimeter right so already we got 50 centimeter so the return period is 10 years so by definition return period is return period is average time interval between the occurrence of a rainfall of magnitude equal or greater than a specified magnitude okay that is return period next we need to know a few terms that is probability of rainfall in a given year now um, this uh, now our rainfall the return period of a rainfall is 10 years okay now this year we got 15 centimeter rainfall next and then we know the 10 years is uh, is a return period of this rainfall next year what is the probability or what is the chance of we getting the same 50 centimeter rainfall next year that is the that is known as probability of exceedance probability we say so that is um if 10 years and uh, then in every year each year it will be 10 percentage right that is 1 by 10 so probability of a rainfall occurring at a given year with a return period t is 1 by t that is a probability return if we have return period t then the probability of occurring in a given year is 1 by t now this is the probability of rainfall next we know we know we want to know what is the probability of the rainfall not occurring in a given year Hmm. So, uh, if it is uh, same case, 50 centimeter rainfall and uh, it is um, again 10 year return period and I just want to know in a particular year, it should not happen. It should not occur. What is the probability of that? So, same. See, if uh, uh, we said 10 years, then every year it will be 10 percentage probability. So, what will be the probability not occurring that? 1 minus 10, that is 90 percentage, right? So, here probability of rainfall not occurring in a given year is equal to, we normally be represented by Q, that is 1 minus P, where P is 1 by 1 by T, right? So, Q equals 1 minus P. Now, the next two uh, equations are important because your questions, most of the questions will be based on these two equations. Uh, here now we have seen a probability of rainfall not occurring in a given year. Next we need to know not occurring at all in n successive years. I need to know in this 
next five years what is the probability of the rainfall not occurring for that we, how we can find out is uh, n successive years if it is a five or whatever it is n then the value is q q we have found out one minus p and this is q p zero n is equal to q to the power of n q to the power of n successive years means q to the power of n if it is five q raised to n will be the a probability of rainfall not occurring at all in certain years successive years okay say if we want to know at least to once in n successive years in this uh, five year period at least what is the chance of a rainfall occurring at least once then the same way uh, we will find we can find out by 1 minus q raised to n hmm? because it is if q raised to n is not occurring at all then at least once is 1 minus q raised to n hmm? um, i'll discuss a few problems also so that it will be a concept will be very clear to you Next, I will discuss a few questions and uh, then the concept will be clear to you. Okay, the probability of a 10 year flood. Okay. 10 year flood means T equals 10 year. T time period, a return period is equal to 10 year. Okay. And, uh, and occur at least a 10 year flood to occur at least once in next 4 years. So here we want at uh, here what we want is at least once. Okay, at least once. Then uh, what we earn at least once the equation was p one is equal to one minus q raised to n. That is at least once. So here uh, same thing. What we have to do is we have to find out q. What is q? q is equal to 1 minus p and what is p p is equal to 1 by t so here p is equal to 1 by 10 that is 0.1 and q is equal to 1 by p 1 minus p so it is 0.9 and here our main equation p1 equal to 1 minus q raised to n n is 4 years so here it is 1 minus 0.9 the whole raised to 4. So the answer is 35 percent. Solving this we will get the answer 35 percentage. Okay. So the B is the answer. Okay. Understood? Uh, at least once in next 4 years. Okay. One more question. A bridge has an expected life of 50 years and is designed for a flood magnitude of return period 100 years. What is the risk associated with this hydraulic design? Now, again, we have uh, the expected life is 50 years. Bridge has expected life of 50 years and the design for a flood magnitude of return period 100 so return period here it is t is equal to 100 years right now um, what is the risk associated with this hydraulic design how can we find out now the bridge has a lifespan of 50 years so we the risk is we have to know in this 50 years at least once this flood occurs is the risk if it occurs then it is a risk at least once so we have to find out in this 50 years at least once if the uh, probability of rainfall occurring at least once in its lifespan lifespan is here is 50 years so again same thing uh, p1 at least 1 is equal to 1 minus q raised to n we know uh, t equal equals 100 years so p equals 1 by t and that is 0 0.01 and q equals 1 minus p that is equal to 0 0.99 and here it is equal to 1 minus 0 0.99 the whole rest n is successive years here the lifespan is 50 years 
so we are bothered only in 50 in this 50 years at least once so the n is 50 okay um, solving this we will get the answer 39.5 percentage so the answer is a it is 39.5 percentage i hope you understood how to get this um, next question a hydraulic uh, risk of a 100 year flood occurring during that two year service of a project here the service life is two years so we want to know at least once in this two years probability of rainfall occurring at least once in this two years same thing um, um, okay 100 year flood 100 year flood means t equals 100 years um, p equals then 1 by t that is equal to again 0 0.01 q equal to 1 minus p so that is 0 0.99 and then at least once in two years is equal to 1 minus q raised to 2 that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.99 the whole raised to 2 and the answer is 1.99 percentage this is the answer I hope you understood this and you it is you found it very easy if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer you okay. thanks for watching and all the best for you